Hello fellow woodworkers and welcome to this week's edition of the Garage Workshop 10 Minute Tour Review. And this week we're going to be taking a little delve into Wish. Roll the intro. So a few weeks ago on the Garage Workshop 10 Minute Tool Review, I did a uh, haul, for use of a better word, I, I sound very, very uh, influenced by saying that, but I did a haul from the website Timu, and I explained at the time that Timu is a relatively new website that sold a lot of products, nearly all of them manufactured in China. Now, what made Timu slightly different was A, it was new, but B, a lot of the products that you buy on Timu are products that you would buy through Amazon. It has a lot of the shared brands. In fact, in, a, in China, it's quite a big competitor of Amazon at the moment. So it's slightly different to some of the other uh, websites you can buy, like Alibaba and things from China, where it's not always the same brand. So it got me thinking... I should do a comparison between Wish, which is another website just like Timu, and just see what the quality is of the product. So what I did about a week, week or so ago, I went on and I brought some items. Now, if you remember from my Timu video, I had three or four different packages. This one, everything I ordered has come in one package. So I'm going to open it up, go through, give you a review of what I think of the contents. They're not the same comment, contents as Timu because that would be a pointless waste of money because I'd have two lots. But I'll just have a little comparison. But the first thing that I noticed, and if you remember in the video, and I will put a link in the description, they came in these bright oranges bags with Timu all across them. I bought lots and lots of stuff for Wish pretty much ever since I knew it existed, at least since probably 2018, 2019, I started using Wish. But now they've got their own labelled bags. You see the big W on it for Wish, uh, which they've never had before. Normally they just come in sort of grey uh, posting bags, but this has all come in one package and it has come all the way from China in one package, hopefully it's made it all. But it's a, it's a first for me that I've never had that before. So let's open the bag up, let's see what's inside. Now, before we go any further, fellow woodworkers, I should say I've got a new microphone today. It's a microphone that I'd used before and I had absolutely no success in getting it to work. I've now configured how it's working. I've just done a little bit of a test view and it seems quite loud to me, but hopefully in the editing, I'll be able to take that out. So apologies if it's a bit in your face, but let's face it, who doesn't want to have me in your face anytime? So let's open up our Wish package and see what we've got on the uh, inside. As with Timu, Im impossible to open the packages the way that they're being designed. Now I will put on the screen um, how much each of these products cost because to be honest I can't remember and I'll also tell you uh, how long it took to get here. So inside my packet I have my first um, just bog standard envelope. Uh, and that's how they used to come before they've gone for the branded label. So they always used to arrive in those bags. And what you used to be able to do with Wish is they had local shops near you uh, and you could have it delivered there and pick it up from there. And I actually had one in a little town that I live in, Manchester, and it was great. I could just do go down there, grab it. But unfortunately, uh, that shop stopped accepting them. So that's packet number one. Uh, packet number two. I love the way it says super standard um, delivery on all of them. My third packet, it's quite a lot in here. My fourth packet, which is in a box, uh, I'm not sure if you can see that very clearly, but that box is, is quite squished. And the last item uh, in the packet is this one. This one I'm interested in, actually, because this either is going to be the disaster of the year or the bargain of the century because this i think if it works out nice might help me with my lathe project so we've got them all set up let's open them one at a time and see what we've got okay so the first item i'll go for uh, randomly let's go for this one 
As I said, I bought all of these uh, online. I'll tell you the prices as we did them. But the thing that surprised me was uh, they didn't take long to get here. I think they were here within a week, uh, which is much better than the normal experience that I have with a wish. So inside the traditional bubble envelope. And what have we got in here? Ah, so what we have here, uh, and I will give you a close-up of this, is a very, very uh, significant uh, router bit, uh, which you can see. I think it's actually uh, a hinge router bit, but I will give you a close-up of it. Now, it's really substantially uh, made in terms of how much it weighs um i might give it away actually and, and put the the weight on the screen because it, it does seem to weigh a ton um it's made of uh, aluminium not made of steel it's got a little collar uh, on the side so you can adjust the uh, depth of the stop on the top of it um the sides the sort of blade in the side uh, is just a thin piece of metal and that doesn't look um brilliant if I'm going to be honest. In fact it doesn't even look like it's cast all the way through. It sort of looks like it's been tack welded uh, on the side and it doesn't actually, one side actually feels a little bit bigger uh, than the other one but this um, router bit was £3.24 so for £3.24 even if it lasts two or three goes you can't really uh, complain and I have had router bits my router bit set that came uh, from Wish before was actually really really good so fingers crossed uh, this will be equally uh, as good I'm, I'm not gonna lie I'm a little bit underwhelmed uh, buy it but um, it is a bigger shank as well I think it's half an inch it's got a half an inch uh, shank on it so mm, I would say a bit sort of bit of a mixed uh, response for that one um, not not expensive but perhaps not you know the quality that I was hoping for so that's the first item uh, the route bit okay so I've just checked and I thought, when I opened this um, bit, I thought that I'm sure that is not what I um, ordered. And I've just gone online and looked and they've sent me uh, the wrong sized uh, bit, the bit that I ordered. I mean, I don't know how big this bit uh, is. Um, it looks about, well, it probably looks about four or five centimetres, 40 or 50 uh, mil. In fact, I've got a ruler here, I can measure it. Yeah, so it's it's four, the depth of that is four centimetres or 40 mil. And I just looked on it and I'd actually ordered the one half that size, the 20 uh, mil. They've sent me the uh, wrong, but I thought it looked wrong when I opened it up. So um, not, not brilliantly made either. Certainly not something I would want that big putting through uh, my router going over anything. So that by default, I'm afraid, is a fail you do get this quite a lot with wish when they send you the wrong products and to be honest nine times out of ten when you send them back to them they say i'll oh, keep the bit um we'll refund you the money which they do tend to do they don't always refund you the postage though um so you do have to watch that so for me that's an epic fail uh, not so much a fail of the product although i'm not really happy with the quality of it but an epic fail on wish's part because they sent me the wrong item, so a fail for that one. Okay, let's go for, bizarrely enough, the most expensive item uh, in the Wish Hall, which I think, if, judging by the side of the box, is this one. And as I uh, said in the introduction, this box has definitely seen uh, some action. It's very squished uh, all over and it has remained intact pretty uh, much um, and this is the Valorb uh, Swiss engineered it's got a lovely address in uh, Switzerland this is the ASB 500 adjustable saw it's like a well I would describe this as in the old days I think they called it a coping 
saw, but you'll have seen on previous videos, and in one of my videos, somebody said, oh, you need to have one of these. Uh, you need to have like um, a saw. So this is sort of for, for more for fine, um, detailed uh, work. It comes in a pack with three sets of uh, blades. Again, I'll show you a close-up of this. Uh, it comes in a pack with three um, sets of different blades. It's got some wing nuts in there and uh, the main body looks, to be honest, it, it doesn't look uh, awful. Uh, a lot of play in um, in that joint. I mean, I know you obviously you can tighten it up, but that actually doesn't seem a very good fit at all. And looking down it, I've probably got the best part of half a mil all the way around the edge. Uh, so that's not fantastic. Let me do it up and see if it gets rid of any of that play. Uh, yeah, to be fair it has, but um, the blade, <laughs> you'll never be able to see that, I will give you a close up. The blade at the top, the blade is not sitting straight, if you can see. Uh, that's actually a really poor fit, uh, that one. Um, not, not impressed at all with that, I'm not going to lie. Um, and these blades are very thin and very tricky and this actually you can order three different types of of um saw and i actually got the biggest one uh that they do so uh that blade which looks like uh the biggest one of the lot it simply apparently uh sits in and then you uh do it up Oh, now I've over tightened that. Uh, so it sits in the end and then it sits in the other end. And what you are supposed to do is tighten it at one end, put it under uh, the correct amount of tension. And already I've just tightened that up and it's uh, come straight out. So, oops, not 100% sure about that and I do know because I've looked online um, at how you actually fix these uh, blades in on this type of um, saw this is how you are supposed to put them in but that does not seem uh, to want to stay in at all um, so I will just recheck that before we put it together but probably as you can tell I'm not massively uh, impressed by that at all. So second item, not great so far. Um, off camera, I'll see if I can sort of put it all together uh, and then we'll give it a little test, but I'm not massively impressed with that at all. And that was the most expensive item. That cost eight pound on its own, which considering the cost of the rest of the things, that's quite a lot of money, uh, particularly for Wish. So oh, I'm not really pleased. And actually looking at it, that's not even a right angle uh, on the side. So I'm not impressed with that so far. Uh, let's hope the rest of the tool haul turns out to be a bit better than that. Let's open the next thing. Okay, not to be put off, let's go for item number three. Let's go for this one. Uh, I'm not sure which of the two remaining, remaining items uh, this is. Again, customary envelope with another, which is like um, pass the parcel. There's another padded envelope uh, on the inside of this one, which I don't seem to be able to cut that better. Ah, okay. So this is the item that I was most looking forward to. It is a miniature block plane. Um, again, I'll give you a close up of it, but it looked absolutely brilliant on the website. Um, I have to say, as with all of these things, it did look slightly bigger on the website uh, than it is here. Uh, it's literally three parts to it. There's the block with a pin in it. Uh, there is the wedge that goes down the side that holds the blade, and then the blade that goes in on the top of it. So a really, really basic um, piece of kit. It's just basically a wedge, the same as uh, you would have anywhere else. Um, and I'm looking forward to testing this because this is the one thing uh, that I think potentially um, could be the best of the lot. Now, um, I am going to have to work out how to fit that 
blade in because both ways that does not look like to me there is enough in that wedge um, to keep it in place. Um, again, I'll give you a close-up. I have to say it's, it feels fairly well made, this. Um, the block is substantial. It's redwood. I don't know if it's Sapili, probably not. Um, but it does feel quite well made. And the blade that's in it, the, um, the actual um, sharpened blade, is quite sharp uh, on the end. And it's probably about probably about two mil, I would say, um, all the way through. But it looks okay, um, but looking at it, it actually is slightly bent. Um, I don't think, no, uh, I will show you it. I'll give you a close up of this, but the piece of metal, you can probably hear it tapping, hopefully. Uh, it is actually bowed uh, in the middle, which I'm surprised about um, because it wasn't, it didn't arrive inside it uh, in any way that it could have been bent. So, yeah, that's a bit of a disappointment. Um, now I'm looking at it more, it is quite clearly uh, curved in the middle. But we'll test it. Uh, we'll put it through its paces um, and see what we think. <laughs> Again, I'm not massively impressed, I'm not going to lie. I would have thought it would have been a little bit better but then again you know do, what do you expect I suppose for the amount of money that you are paying and this hand plane was three pounds it was two pound 99 and I'm not buying it to take industrial chunks of wood off of things it'll only be for little things but again not not a hundred percent sold uh, on the quality of that I'm not gonna lie so we've got two items left let's hope we get an improvement in either quality or at least an improvement in the way it feels. Okay, by definition, I know what this last item is, and uh, this last item was the cheapest of all of the items, and it's an all, uh, I think that's how you uh, say it. Um, oh, it is an all. Um, it's not what I expected it to be, though, and that's certainly not the image um, I'll pop the image up of what that should look like. It's meant to be ball shaped. Um, when I ordered it, there were two choices. There was this uh, flatter sort of pen shape and there was a sort of bulb, like a little screwdriver, sort of little bulbous headed, like circular headed one. And I specifically chose the other one. So they've sent me the wrong one, uh, which really is really common with Wish. The amount of times I've had to send things back, but um, it's awful quality. Uh, again, I'll give you a close-up, but um, the wood is very uh, soft. It's not a hard wood. The little copper bit on the end um, is just shoved on, not particularly great. And the actual awl itself is really quite significantly at odds with the handle. Um, it's not straight at all. And the blade has got quite a lot of roll. When you roll it around, the blade is moving uh, quite a lot. It is very sharp, so it's got one thing in its favour. But, oh, no, not, in, not impressed with that at all, got to be honest. Um, was hoping for a bit more, but as I said, when you do things like this sometimes, um, you have to bear in mind you're not going to get everything you want. But... To specifically select the other type and send me one, that, that's going down as an epic fail uh, for Wish, I'm afraid. So, four down, one to go. Let's see what's in that last packet. Okay, so as I said at the beginning, this is the one that I started off being most excited about, but I'm not gonna lie, my excitement has been dampened somewhat by um, the other things that I've had from Wish. Now, the reason that I'm calling this a sort of Wish versus Timu is because um, the prices I paid for Wish weren't that much less than Timu, and I mean it was pennies uh, less. So yeah, I should have a comparable uh, quality. Now this is a set of chisels, uh, six-piece carving chisels, and the reason that I bought these is it says on there that they can be used for carving when you're using a lathe, and as you know, uh, I've got a couple of lathe videos. I'll put them in the description if you haven't seen them. Well worth a look. Uh, don't follow any of the um, techniques in it though. It's not very health and safety. But um, these apparently could be used uh, with a lathe. I'll give you a close up, but yeah, they look like they cost about 
two pounds, uh, and they were a little bit more than that. Uh, they were four pounds sixty nine um, for them. But the key thing, and this happens a lot with Wish, I haven't had the same experience with Timu, but a lot with Wish is the items are a lot smaller in real life than they appear on the Wish website. And I don't just mean, uh, you know, the way that they look. They put them on there next to things to give you a sort of idea of scale. And it's quite common uh, for that to be complete and out of crap, to be honest. And um, a lot of times I bought things expecting them to be much bigger than they are, uh, and they're not. So these are the individual chisels. Um, handle, not too bad. Um, the actual chisels themselves, they're sharp. Uh, the ends are not very uh, finely cut, but um, they do feel sturdy, uh, which is one good thing. Uh, whether they would cope on a lathe, I don't know. Perhaps I'll do that the next time I've got the lathe out. But um, a nice set in terms of how they look. They're actually quite, the quality-wise, they're probably the best thing that I've got. Um, yeah, not too bad, not awful. Uh, but not brilliant either. I mean, there's a nice selection um, of tools. There's six of them. And you're thinking about it, really. You're paying, what, ATP, something like that? Um, less than that, 70p, something like that, um, for each one, 75p. So you're not going to get a huge amount of quality. Um, but they don't look too bad, to be honest. They're certainly much more impressive than any of the other items that we've got. Now I'm going to take my life in my hands now and I'm going to try out some of these uh, things. I'm going to tell you now the one that's worrying me uh, potentially is this. So I'm going to have a th I'm going to think twice about whether I'm actually going to uh, test that because it is quite a significant um, router bit and I am just a little bit worried about trying it. But Let's put the other things, put them all together, put them through the paces, and I'll give you my verdict on whether I think Wish is better than Timu. And I think you probably can already guess where this one's going. So, fellow woodworkers, I'm going to give this a test. Apologies if you can hear the rain. A minute ago, we had beautiful sunshine, but being the United Kingdom, of course, we're completely at the mercy of the weather. So apologies if you can hear it in the background. I've got two pieces of wood that I'm going to use uh, to test the saw. It took me a long time um, to get the saw together and actually I had to do it using the uh, screws which is not the way that you are supposed to. You're supposed to only use these thumb turns but I just could not get the blade um, to purchase so I eventually got them in but um, I have put an angle on it and I'm not sure if you can um, see it. I'll try and give you a close-up but it is at least um, a millimetre out in terms of this uh, angle. Again, apologies for the rain. Um, so it's not even straight. And this angle here on the inside is uh, also out by quite a long way. It just feels very poorly made. So I've got the blade in, I've got it under the tension and I'm gonna use it on this sort of off cut piece of uh, CLS stud work timber that I had that I put through the table saw so it's nice and soft wood let's see if it will cut that well it's cut the wood um, okay I'll give you a close-up um, not very straight and again it's taken a bit out of the blade so let's try and do a sideways cut Well, it did the sideways cut, but to be honest with you, um, there was too much play in the blade there. Uh, so I've got more of a tick than a, a sideways cross. I've got a piece of MDF here. Um, wow, the rain really is coming down now. Hopefully you can hear me over the sound of it. I've got a piece of MDF, let's give that a go. Okay, it's going through the MDF a lot better. Uh, it's a lot smoother. Uh, let's try a sideways cut. Again, same problem. Um, it's actually bent the blade, and because it's sort of at an angle, um, it's not been, oh, the rain has stopped. It's not an, an absolutely great cut, if I'm being honest. Um, 
I have to say, I'm, I'm really hugely disappointed uh, with this. For the most expensive item, I was expecting a lot more. I just don't think it's very well made. I think the blades are really cheap and nasty. And for me, this is a total fail. Okay, uh, the next thing that I'm going to test is this uh, little plane. Um, I'll give you a close-up of it. I'm going to tell you straight away, um, I'm not sure how long this plane uh, is going to last. The little piece of wood uh, that they give you, the little wedge, um, it's really loose in the slot with the blade. Um, it's taken me a couple of goes to get the blade uh, seated properly and there's way too much movement and the fact that the wedge is quite a lot a lot narrower than the actual gap it's got to be a bit but obviously being wood it's going to move isn't it but that wedge is quite a lot different it, I, I'm not entirely sure that it is going to be able um, to keep this blade where it needs to be uh, for very long so I mean I could always fabricate something else but I've got a block of just a block of stud work timber here uh, let's see if we can get it to work. Uh, I mean, it is taking it off, um, but the blade is already further out of the plane than it was when I started. It's already slipped a little bit uh, further out. Um, and again, I think that's down to that uh, wedge. I mean, I know it's only a little hand plane, but you would have thought they would have thought a little bit more uh, about that. I mean, it is taking it off, uh, the wood off, as you can see. So, um, not awful at all. Um, it is doing the job it's supposed to be doing. So in that respect, I think we have to say uh, it is an epic, well, it is doing the job that it's supposed to do. So I have to say, I suppose, that it's a winner. But um, I'm not convinced about the actual uh, quality of it. Um, and the blade actually doesn't feel as sharp as I, as I thought it would be. So let me just give it another couple of goes. I mean, you can see how it's getting caught up. And it, it shouldn't be getting that caught up. But it is taking the material off. So for me... I'm going to say it's a hit in terms of the fact that it's delivered what it should do. It does plain wood. But in terms of the quality, particularly the quality of that um, that sort of shim of wood, that wedge of wood, I don't think that's going to last uh, very long. And actually, the blade's not as sharp as I thought it was. So for me, it's in the middle. It, it's neither a hit or a miss. Um, in terms of the quality and the build quality, not great but in terms of actually doing what it's supposed to do it has done that so for me it's neither hit nor miss okay the next item i don't even know why i'm bothering to test this i mean you can't go wrong can you it's an all all it's going to do is poke a hole but it would have to be intergalactically rubbish for that not to work um yep it does it makes a hole so i suppose it's done what it's supposed to do but you can see there's a lot of play in that a lot of play in it and again the handle is not as comfortable um, as it should be I know it's very cheap but the handle is not really comfortable to hold and I know they've sent me the wrong one um, but even so yeah not great that it's not particularly um, sharp it's not sort of razor sharp which I would expect so for me that's not a winner the other thing is I think it's too the blade should have been a little bit thicker if it's going to be that long. I think perhaps the handle should be a little bit further down. So, yes, it makes a hole, but to be honest, I'm not sure how much I'm going to use that. And it, when you rotate it, uh, you can see, and when you put it down, that you can see that as you roll it around, the, the blade is sort of, the tip is sort of moving because it's not really very straight. So, for me, that's a fail. Okay, the next thing I'm going to test are just a couple of uh, the little uh, chisels. Now, I'm just literally just going to try them on this same block of wood, uh, just see if I can take anything off. Um, these do look like, they do look a bit cheap and nasty. They don't look like they're going to be uh, good enough for the job. But let's try. Mm, to be fair, um, these are a lot sharper 
uh, than they look. They're going straight through uh, this wood. Um, Joe, you know, they might actually be all right for using on the lathe. Uh, let's try one of the scooped ones, which I, I know is going to be more uh, difficult to test. I mean, I, I, and obviously this is not the way you use a chisel. I do know that, but I'm just trying to see. Uh, the sort of gouging one um, is a bit harder to test, but it's not very sharp either, uh, that one. Whereas the other ones are very, very sharp. Let's try another flat one. Yeah, to be fair, uh, these are actually really sharp. Um, so the next time I have the lathe out, I will give them a go um, and see if they're any good. So I'm going to say overall, uh, because they're actually not, they're not awful quality. So I'm going to go these, I'm going to put these down as a winner. Okay, so fellow woodworkers, we've come to the end of this Wish versus Timu haul. And I have to say... I've been really disappointed with the quality of the products that I've had from Wish and obviously the experience that I've had from them. Uh, if you look back at my Timu video, which was a very popular video, I think it's had over 3,000 views that video, um, although I paid a little bit more, the quality and the difference in the products from uh, Timu compared to Wish is literally uh, night and day. Everything I've got here from Wish has been a significantly lower quality to the equivalent items that I got. For Timu. Now, I, it's fair to say that I paid less for at Wish. I definitely did. These items were nowhere near as expensive, but having said that, they still cost quite a bit of money. They did range in prices, but for the quality and the amount I paid, just the differential is just not there. Really, really not good. Whereas the Timu was really nice quality stuff. Still cheap, of course, but nicer quality. So for me, the overwhelming winner is Timu. They've sort of overtaken them, really. So hands down for me, the Timu products beat the Wish ones by a mile. Thank you so much for watching this video, fellow woodworkers. If it's your first time at the Garage Workshop, please can I ask you to subscribe, like, comment, hit the notification bell. All of those things are so important to the YouTube algorithm and it really, really helps the channel to grow. I've just reached a thousand subscribers and that is because people like, comment, they enjoy the videos, they pass it on. So please do that if it's your first visit. And also go and have a look at my back catalogue. I've got over 130 videos, I think. Uh, posted now. If you're a regular viewer, thank you so much for all of your support. I would not be here doing this if it wasn't for you, and I wouldn't have a thousand subscribers if it wasn't for you. But also, like, comment. So that's the end of this week's video. Next week, we've got a little bit of a build going on, uh, and over the coming weeks, um, I'll have a little bit more time in the garage workshop. I think, as many of you know, I work in a school. So we're breaking up for the summer holidays next week. So we've got a build coming up and then I've got an interesting project coming up based around something that I'm going to buy from Timu. Fantastic week, fellow wood. Have a fantastic week, fellow woodworkers. And I'll catch you on next week's edition of the Garage Workshop. Take care, everyone.